Good afternoon. This week marked one year since President Joe Biden took office. Now let me ask you a question. Is this nation better off now than it was one year ago? Our country is facing an economic crisis, an energy crisis, a border crisis, an education crisis, a crime crisis, a COVID-19 crisis, and a national security crisis, all due to Joe Biden and Congressional Democrats' failed leadership. Now that's exactly what it is, it's failed leadership. Inflation reached a 40-year high just recently. You can feel it each and every day in your pocketbook. And in this last year, over 1.8 million illegal immigrants have been apprehended at the border. Violent crime skyrocketed across the nation and cities, and remote learning for some is becoming a new normal. Without a doubt, Biden and Pelosi's policies, they've been damaging and destructive for our country and for the American people. Now, we're gonna be talking more about these problems and maybe more importantly, about Republican solutions, so stay tuned. Now, finally this week, we observed the 49th annual March for Life in Washington. It was really good to be with pro-life advocates from across the nation. With the help of all those who participated in this year's March for Life, we're gonna to continue to fight to protect the life of the unborn. I've always vowed to protect all lives, especially the most innocent and vulnerable among us, and will continue to do so with all my strength and with all my might. Now, as always, if you have any questions, any concerns, or any comments, please don't hesitate to reach out to our offices either in Washington or back home in West Tennessee. You can also visit my website, custoff.house.gov, for updates on what we're doing, for statements that we made to the media, and for legislative updates. I thank all of you and have a great and a wonderful weekend.